I am here with a former Olympus visionary, Alex. Okay, he was an Olympus visionary for seven years. And uh, tell us really quickly about how you did the eclipse. Well, the Eclipse I actually shot with a uh, Solar Quest. It's one of our mounts that tracks the sun. I put the uh, 300F4 on there with the uh, EM1X. And uh, I was shooting it at seven stops. I was shooting seven stops at 0.7 intervals. And then I was moving through the different ISOs as I was doing that to try to cover a larger range of, get that dynamic range so later I could stack it all together. Yeah. Tell me, you guys have a mount that specifically tracks the sun, right? Yes, we do. It actually uses a camera to find the sun, and then it switches over to like a GPS system, and it uses satellites to keep the thing centered. Now, that's something I did not know, so... <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. I actually had my camera on that, and it was running the whole time. We also had a, um, a Spree 100 set up, um, so people could look at it, and as soon as it went to totality, we took that off, so it was amazing to see through the, the scope as well. Tell us about this little guy. So this little strain wave mount, right? Yep. Okay, so my, my name's Alex, like he said. Um, I'm actually a technical support representative for Skywatch in North America. So we sell telescopes and mounts. And this is the first of the new generation of mounts. Um, we're the first mount company to actually build the strain wave mount. We looked at a lot of things in the industry that weren't quite addressed. We made sure all those things were addressed. So when we put this together, we feel the second generation is going to be much better than the predecessors. Um, but this can run um, as an AZ mount or it can run as an EQ mount. So it's, it's very versatile. This one can do 22 pounds on one side or 22 pounds on both sides for a combination of 44 pounds. You can run this one in EQ mode uh, at 22 pounds and there's an optional counterweight which will take the payload up to 33 pounds. Now is there a phone app to control it yet? Yeah, it runs just the SynScan app that everything else runs. Uh, we also have a solar tracking program, I mean it's not solar, a uh, satellite tracking program um, on our page that you can download. So something like this at 10 degrees per second you could easily track the space station and photograph it if you wanted. Very nice Alex, thank you. Yep, we also have the 150 which is a little bit bigger and that doesn't have the two plates uh, but it has management in it. That's for a little bit bigger mounts. You can run 33 pounds in EQ or ALT. Um, and with the optional counterweight and EQ mount, you can run 55 pounds on it. I, know, I can certainly say the power management, that, that means there is porting and plugs that go through the mount so you don't have any wiring getting messed up, which is, I think, pretty essential. But, you know, yep. glad that we're seeing it come to more and more scope. You want to put the mount there? I'm going to move it. Put the mic right here. Oh, yeah. Got to hear it. I don't know if you're even going to hear it through there, but... So the great thing about running an alt as like this is if you were tracking a satellite, you could go across the sky and you don't have to do a meridian flip. Mm. Anyways, the new strainways. Right, awesome, Alex. Thank you. Hey, thank you. <laughs>